Hello and welcome to this uh, Evoke um, diesel automatic. I'll start this near side front corner. This is in best selling white. Uh, it is a lovely example, panoramic roof in black, uh, loads of black on the body, privacy glass. And this will grace any forecourt. So straight away on this near side front corner, I notice we've got parking sensors, as you can see. Just standing back a little, just to give you the full impact of the vehicle, we've got the uh, big set of uh, alloys. So it's got the wheel upgrade, and these are two. Are they a 19 or a 20? Let me have a look at the tire size. There's a the tire size. Uh, there we go, 20 inch wheel. So there we go. Sorry, I couldn't see then. Uh, tires. Certainly above three millimetres, but are getting closer on the front there. And as I stand back and just pan along the near side of the car, we'll notice we've got privacy glass to the rear window. And then the rear alloys, again, in good order. And again, uh, thin, a little bit thin, but certainly three millimetres or above. Got factory fitted mud flaps fitted to it, just make it give it a wider stance. I do like that. And we have a reversing camera fitted to the rear. It was subject to a private plate transfer. That has been done. We're just waiting for the documentation. Power tailgate, as you can see. In the back, it's absolutely like brand new. And then underneath there, we've got the spare wheel. Uh, I don't know what we've got in these. Bit of a fuse box. Let's see if I'm just looking for a tool kit for you. I do like to show them off. And uh, there we go, two curry hooks. All important. Don't know where the toolkit is. It's probably under the spare wheel. I'm sure it's all complete. Um, and then panning down the offside again. Car's immaculate. Really, really nice example. This one. Little bit of scuffing just the very edge of that wheel and tyre again. Circa three millimetres, just like all the others. Uh, I do like the amount of black on this car, so we've got the black across the vents there, as you can see we've got black engine vents on there, black mirrors, we've got the, uh, the um, trim around the window uh, finished in black as well, uh, and we've got the black uh, glass panoramic roof, as you can see. So coming around the front, there is the odd little chip, you need the old tipex out there just to uh, to get rid of that uh, it's not brand new as you all are aware and I think we've got front cameras uh, there as well so uh, cameras galore I'm not um, I'm not proof to the service book on this one so just check the description on the net uh, we will have the book somewhere but uh, as you can see not in the uh, not in the glove box um, there uh, so it's got beautiful upholstery on the interior this sort of dark very dark gray and cream leather interior really gives it a lighter feeling inside with the uh, opposing stitching there in cream just to give it a bit of detail down the seat um, i love this um, uh, those will watch my videos before the car has got the velour carpet mats so we know underneath there the carpets are as new take them out give them a steam and we're all laughing so we've got memory package on driver and passenger and the meridian hi-fi upgrade well, just let me jump in the driver's side. Again, driver memory package, which you'd expect with it having it on the passenger. Uh, cars covered 25,684 miles. Uh, multifunctional steering wheel, as you can see. Uh, the uh, automatic gearbox, bit of off-road mode there. And heated seats, as well as dual zone climate control just set them nice and automatic at 20 degrees which is what we like so we've got two keys for this vehicle as I'm demonstrating to you now and we've got phone uh, I think this button here when pressed tells us it's got dual screen uh, in fact it has because we come over here I don't know if that's showing you on there you've got the uh, the TV and when you come this side we've got the sat nav so really, really clever dual screen technology that the Range Rover has. Um, home button as well. Park, I'm not sure if that's uh, auto park or not. Um, you never know what they've got these days, but it's definitely got some sort of parking indication button. 
uh, and park assist searching on the uh, on there so uh, we've got all that uh, on this particular model so good specification of car uh, as I said to you earlier on we've got this glass panoramic roof which is beautiful as you can see and we have uh, nav as well so as you can see there I've got that on for you okay um, so it must have TV tuner as well uh, let's have a look in fact it has because just been watching the TV as you can demo as I'm demonstrating there to you so what a good spec car this is so as always I'll just finish off from the exterior of the vehicle winning bidder please feel free to download the photographs they are yours to uh, get it on the website straight away I'm sure that'll fly away it's in best-selling white big wheels and a really really good interior spec with that beautiful upholstery on the inside uh, so there we have it coming into autumn now obviously we're in um, summer as far as everyone's concerned by the time that's on your website all retailed all ready to prep um, you know those cut those prices will be climbing very soon coming into the autumn season which is obviously uh, this type of vehicle uh, you want so there you go uh, sermon over thanks for watching have a great weekend